Mass Shorts. Rotation describes how an object turns around a point. It's used to describe the movement of geometric shapes. For example, if you tack up only one corner of a rectangular sign, what's going to happen? The sign swings down. It has a rotation around the tack, but geometrically, it's the same shape. Rotation is really common. The triangles that make up spokes on this bike wheel are rotating around the center axle. Mathematicians use rotation to describe shapes on a coordinate plane too. Check out this triangle. In mathematical language, we'd show it like this, which describes the points of the triangle's vertices based on where they're located on the coordinate plane. To rotate an object, you first need to choose the center of rotation. This is the point that you'll rotate the object around. To make it easy, we'll choose point 0, 0, or the origin, on this coordinate plane. When we rotate the shape, we need to keep the shape exactly the same distance, or equidistant, from the center of rotation all the way around. If we rotate the triangle one quarter turn around the point of origin, counterclockwise, keeping the point of rotation exactly the same, then the triangle moves to a different place on the coordinate plane. The triangle shape stays the same, but the triangle has rotated, and the points used to describe the triangle have also changed. To show that a triangle has rotated, we use a little symbol like this. So now we have turned a geometric shape around a point. That's what rotation means. We can use it to move shapes and describe their movement.